morning, everybody. Hey, I had a lot of uh, inquiries with regards to uh, doing a side-by-side -side video of our um, high output alternators for the serpentine belt systems. So we figured we'd go ahead and use uh, this one here as a comparison that came in for a repair against our uh, Denso hairpin design. So what most everybody is getting when they buy the serpentine belt system is a slot wound CS121 version of a high output alternator with an external fan. The difference between theirs and ours is ours is dual internal fans. You won't have the external fan, but cosmetically it looks exactly the same direct fitment. Uh, this one here is rated at 180 amps at peak, 1800, 2000 RPM. But the main thing that we want to focus on is, is the idle output because that's where most of the units um, actually kind of drop off in terms of voltage. So we want to go ahead and show you guys a side-by-side -side comparison against our unit. So on this particular unit, 14.5 volt set point, no load yet. So what we want to show is unit under load and what the voltage drop is. So when we go ahead and add a simple load of say 50 amp draw, basically like your couple of fans that are turning on, um, you'll notice that the voltage just dropped to 13. That's a 50, let's go, let's go even for comparison, 50 amp draw, 13.3. Obviously if we go a little bit higher, if you add a sound system, not too much higher, just went to 54, your voltage just dropped. So it stopped charging basically because the way that these are designed with the stator rotor combination, this is what the biggest struggle is for everybody. Once all your accessories kick on, your voltage just drops. That's exactly what you see here. Pull the load off, and then of course you'll see that it'll go back to the 14.5, which is the set point for this type of a unit, which is a, they call it a one wire system. But again, we go back to adding the load, 54, 53, 12.8. It's no longer charging. So now what we want to do is we're going to show you a side-by-side -side against our alternator. We won't pause the video, so what we're going to do is we're just going to go ahead and uh, put the recorder down, and I'm going to go ahead and do a alternator swap here give me about 30 seconds and I'll come back to you guys to kind of show you as we're doing live that we're just doing a straight swap here on the uh, test machine so our dental hairpin dual internal fans billet case we designed this custom ourselves for the guys using the serpentine systems. We use a, an internally regulated ignition source turn on as opposed to a one wire setup that most of the uh, slot wound styles offer. So go back, same setup. Ours is a 14.8 volt set point no load so back to the same thing if we go ahead and put a load on it we want to see what is it that we're seeing in terms of a drop different 50 amp draw same as last one virtually no drop 0.1 we go a little bit more 60 amp draw 14.6. That's the difference between ours versus theirs. Take it to 70 amp look, draw, 14.5. Again, this is idle output. This is what we want to go ahead and show everybody the difference between our high output versus the traditional uh, imported units that you know, are attractive in price. You know, you can find these 110, 120 amp for like $90, $110, but unfortunately, you're paying 
for 12.8 volts at idle output, where ours under load, you're paying for performance. At the end of the day, you want performance. So, our unit, their unit, theirs at 12.8 at 50 amps draw. Ours at 14.7 at 50 amp draw idle. These alternators fit on the All-American Billet, CVF March systems, Vintage Air, and any other serpentine systems out there. Uh, Holly, we have options for Holly, so any of the systems that are out there, we have a direct alternator replacement, direct fit. We have three different styles. We have the uh, six and a half mount. We have the six and a quarter inch mount. We have the left ear adjustment. We have the right ear adjustment. So we have virtually every application that is needed for this, these serpentine systems. So again, if you're looking for performance, we'll show it to you. Not just in peak, but more importantly in idle. We appreciate you guys. Any questions, comment below or feel free to give us a call. 800-345-4952. We're also probably the only company that provides a phone number for you guys to give us a call on. Ask us any questions. Thank you guys.